Hello everybody. Uh, we're continuing on our webinar series about things that you should know and apply in our translation and interpreting courses. Um, I want to talk about uh, machine translation or automatic translation. So please don't use that in our courses. And one reason is that we can see it. It's very easy to detect if a text has been translated with automatic translation software. Uh, the other reason is that you're learning the skills of translation. So you need, really need to spend time with the text and work on it and do research. Um, some very experienced translators uh, sometimes use, uh, will use machine translation, but that's after they have a lot of experience and they will use it and then do post editing of the text. Uh, so for our courses, we encourage you not to use it. Some instructors will write that on your syllabus uh, and even say that if they find out that you use machine translation, you will automatically receive an F for that particular assignment. Uh, reviewing your syllabus, we can't stress enough how important this is. Um, there is a lot of good information on your syllabus. Uh, explaining how you will be graded. Uh, this is a syllabus that I have for my Portuguese translation class. Um, there's a lot of good information, including uh, how you'll be graded. As I said, uh, the weights of the grade components, the grading scale, the ex explanation of what you will do week by week. Um, so please review them. Some instructors will ask you to review your syllabus and take a quiz. Um, and this should be uh, the agreement between you and your instructor regarding that particular class. Uh, so it's very important that you spend some time looking at it. Uh, for example, look at this piece of information here. All email exchange between instructor and students will be done via the student's UMass Amherst email address. Um, so uh, when you enroll and when you register, you are given a specific email address. So make sure that is the email address that you are using and checking every day. Uh, if you want, you can forward that email to one that you use the most. And there are, uh, there are instructions on how to do it on the information technology uh, web page. So make sure you review your syllabus. The other point here is the importance of your participation in online discussions. Uh, some courses will ask you to use VoiceThread as a platform or just traditional discussion forums. Um, it's important that you participate because one, it's a graded item. And number two, uh, it's important for your critical thinking skills that you discuss articles and theories with your classmates and your professors. Uh, also, it's important that you contribute, and it's also important that your classmates uh, have access to what you think about things. So everybody contributing makes, makes for a more engaging class. Reviewing assignment instructions. So your instructors spend a lot of time writing, uh, designing your assignments and writing instructions for it. Uh, for them. So here is an example of a class that I teach, uh, Translation and Technology. Uh, we're going to go into the weekly content area. Uh, and here there is an assignment which a bilingual students have to write a bilingual resume introductory email. So I, you know, I spent a lot of time writing these instructions with a lot of information, including how to name your file, including links to resources that will be helpful uh, for students to complete the assignment. Uh, there is information about deadline. Uh, there's a lot of information here that is important for you to review. 